Look at all of this nothing. It's the sometimes vlog, yeah, yeah. It's our vlog that happens sometimes. And today, it's happening in 1080p, sexy HD. And for good reason, because we are here in Death Valley, the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere. Badwater is right out there, and we are about to take a look at it. We did it! Bad water, 282 feet below sea level. The lowest point in North America, the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere, and the lowest point of these vlogs. As awesome as it is, hitting my lowest point, the real reason that I'm in Death Valley is one year ago I was here filming all the different Star Wars filming locations of Death Valley. I'm talking about the original Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope, or just plain old Star Wars if you're old school like me. I posted a pretty lengthy video of that on my other YouTube channel showing the shots from Death Valley compared with the shots from the actual movie Star Wars and Return of the Jedi actually. And you can see that if you go down to the description below and click on that link and you can see the old video. Behind me is the world famous artist palette. Ooh, look how colorful. And there's the artist palette parking lot. And on the other side of it is one of those scenes where we see R2D2 cruising down the canyon. R2D2 is right there. Then on the other side of the parking lot, up this hill, is where they did the matte painting shot where they painted in the Jawa sand crawler and all this stuff was in the background. I think in my first video actually I said it was a model. I didn't know it was actually a painting on glass, but either way, it was right here. I'm a giant thing. And these sand dunes, mesquite dunes in real life, this is where R2-D2 left C-3PO and headed off towards that rocky area over there. It's great to be back. I forgot how sandy it is. Next, inside the mouth of the real life Golden Canyon in Death Valley, you will find the land of the Jawas. This is one of the little cracks along the trail where the Jawas were hiding and creeping on R2-D2 and you see the little rocks falling from above and if you look this way, this is the same view that the Jawas had creeping on R2 as he rolled past. You can tell because this thing looks like a little Easter Island face. This is where the Jawas hiding when he sees R2-D2 cruising up the canyon. And finally, last but certainly not least, is this, this massive area where the Tusken Raiders were jumping on top of their Banthas. Now, spoiler alert, because I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but there's actually no such thing as real Banthas. So Star Wars used elephants in furry costumes, and those elephants were right down there in Death Valley, and the Tusken Raiders, the Sand People, were running down and jumping on top of the Banthas. This is probably the location that I spent the least amount of time in last time but I did like sitting up here on the hills of the Bantha Canyon, looking down, almost the same view that Luke would have had through his binoculars. You can still see that giant red boulder in the background that you can actually see in the movie. Yep, there were two Banthas down there at one point. I don't see any sand people. Wait a minute. I can see one of them now. Tusken Raiders are super weird. 